Hey you guys, it's Tina Harlow with Guiding Bright and we are continuing to work our way through the free ebook, Helping Gifted Kids Thrive, Insights from the Experts. So I recently revised the ebook and I added in Danai Del Georges. And today we are gonna focus on her section that is teaching children honesty with tact. So I added the Nye because of the amazing work that she's doing in Greece for giftedness. She is the founder of the Center for the Advancement of Noesis, and she is a psychopedagogist, which means she's an educator and a coach. Um, she teaches people about the social and emotional needs of the gifted. So gifted children have a need for authenticity. And Vinay says that it's important that they learn how to express their honest feelings while at the same time learning how to speak with tact. So the best way to teach honesty with tact is to model it ourselves. The problem is a lot of we gifted adults have a really hard time with this one. In the ebook, Thanai gives us a great example of modeling honesty and tact while attending a child's birthday party. So let's say your child is invited to a birthday party and the parents are talking while the children play. You hear a conversation between two parents about another child. One parent comments to the other that this child's parents must have it made because he is gifted, so everything is easy for him. As the parent of a gifted child yourself, this conversation feels uncomfortable and you start to feel angry. What can you do? The Nye says that the key is pre-positioning. It's the desired outcome that we are hoping for. It's what we have in mind prior to an encounter. It's our natural instinct to respond impulsively because usually our desired outcome, honestly, is to be right. But the Nye gives us some other ideas of things that we can do that will give us better avenues for success. The first step to good pre-positioning is to ask, how can I be most true to my authentic self? This is what I know. It is not always easy for gifted kids. They struggle in ways that others often don't see. The second step for good pre-positioning is to ask, what is my desired outcome? I really want to expand their understanding of gifted children. The third step is to prepare body language and tone. Sometimes the intensity is so strong, but I know that if I open my arms and communicate a kind tone, slow down my speech, lower my volume, and definitely don't roll my eyes. Then they'll take me seriously and listen to what I have to say. The last step is to prepare to speak with tact. All right, let me try to do this tact thing. How about, hi, I overheard your conversation and I have some experience with gifted kids. Can I share a little bit about what I've learned? All right, wish me luck. Okay, you can reach the Nye Del Georges at www.thenydelgeorges.com. So I hope you'll join us next week when we focus on Donna Ford's section on fostering cultural awareness and sensitivity. All right, so the Gifted Mamas Retreat is coming up and the early bird deadline ends September 15th, so don't miss that. The retreat will be with myself and Dr. Linda Silverman here in Steamboat Springs, October 12th through 14th. For more details and to register, you can get onto my website at www.guidingbright.com and look on my events page. All right, thanks so much for joining us today. I love hearing from you, so please reach out to me at my website or on my Facebook page. And remember, as always, no matter what parenting challenges come your way, you've got this. We'll see you next time.